Assalamu alaikum guys so this is a little topic but the impact of it is so much big because this topic is very near to me and my whole life revolves around it so if um, I remember someone asked me a question that what is the most important thing for you in this world and then I said to that person that for me it is my hijab and what I can do for it so um, I was making uh, uh, you know I was like struggling uh, on it and uh, let's talk about it in a little detail then this is the question doing parda in weddings so if any of you struggling to do parda at weddings this is for you and if the question arises in your mind that can you wear a veil at weddings and inside the home in front of non-marams so the answer is yes for example if you have a hijab you have to even a big event I feel like I'm not um, uh, directly targeting anyone. I'm just talking about a very general thing that we have seen and I see and other people know as well that it's like this. So, when you have a big function, a big event, so I feel like you should start preparing yourself. And I was also making preparatory decisions to steal myself. Although it was very difficult for me to do Parda in front of my cousins. And uh, I was like totally mentally exhausting. Um, <laughs> because I'm not going to be a good person, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person because this was my first experience, and I was doing it alone in my family. And I was like, I'm going to be a good person. So <clears throat> then um, I saw a video, and she was like a revert Muslim. And I made a complete video, and then I asked her, okay, What should I do when you know? Uh, I will experience it, you know, for the first time in the weddings and inside my home when I will experience the non atoms. So, what would I do? And she said, very straightforwardly, a very simple explanation. Okay, even if they have seen you before, it doesn't mean okay, you will show your, you know, um, you will show yourself to them. If they have seen you before, so for example, if you have an ex-husband, ex -husband, if you have seen you before, but when you get divorced, he becomes a non-marum for you. So same goes with the cousins and same goes with your ex-spouse. If you uh, have to do it with them, even if they have seen you, it doesn't mean that if you have started doing this, then you will not do it. So the answer is very, very simple. And... Uh, Although the effort is long and struggling, but the answer is so simple. So, but I will tell you guys the first thing that it will, um, you know, uh, put into you um, a little trial, and you know, it will mentally exhaust you to first, you know, shaitan ki tarfsega ya na karo kya hoga. So, lekin but doing it so much please you and gives you the peace. Because when you are Allah ko khush karna lagte ho na, so this is something that that gives the so much wonderful peace that you can't get anywhere so I will tell you guys I have experienced this peace I have experienced this happiness so it was first difficult in front of doing Naam um at the big event of my sisters and brother so wearing it there is here my experience is all about my sisters and brother this was the big event for me and when I was a non-hijabi I thought that I Wallah, I will be ready for that my hair will be open and I become like so much dominant uh, uh, I, I would be so dominant and prominent and you know, I am telling my views when I was like non-hijabi I was thinking that when I was my sister and brother what would I be? but the whole situation got changed because Allah has given me something to do and people who were, have seen me for the first time they were like oh, you are not going to be a good one, who are you? Like, uh, it was like short for them for, for like for, for you know, the first time it was like short for them as well. But I was like, will they accept me? And what if if I'm doing it and it is bothering them? And uh, oh, is it affecting them? Or <laughs> and am I putting them in trouble? And I felt for the first time that I'm putting them in trouble. You know, when I'm doing it, I feel like I'm putting them in trouble because maybe this is affecting them so uh, I'm just putting them you know, I'm putting my guest in trouble so but uh, then I also thought about myself that what I want to do what I feel about it how I feel safe and how I feel protected about you know by doing it so so many people who, who were reluctant to accept it uh, but I was doing it I'm not boasting out about it <laughs> Uh, well, the purpose of telling it you guys is that um, I just want to tell you that your little efforts impact the society and your positive stride should not be only limited to yourself. 
you know because you should be the person of amar bil maruf anil munkir so this can be start by working on yourself and your nafs through good intentions little explanation i don't know i mean extending it or uh, you know i'll give the purpose of just telling is that this is the little exam this is a little try if you will not pass this little exam and li how will you you know pass the big exam and you will witness the judgment and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah the things start getting easier people who were reluctant to accept me at the first and they were like judging it they start accepting me because i was like very adamant about it that i will do it no matter what so they start and the thing uh, i would tell you about the female girls um they uh, you know when they see it um they start admiring because they also want to do it so i thought the little impact maybe if someone will influence anyone and maybe someone will adopt it and doing it so you know aap jab ki guna karte hain to aap aapko dar hota hai ki yaar mere iski wajah se koi dusra influence ho ke is cheez ko adopt na kare to agar aapke andar ek positive cheez hai agar usko koi dekh ke adopt karta hai to this is the impact aur jitna jaise ek guna hota hai uska agar guna ka impact society mein bahut bada hai then this guna is big and if you know agar ek उस उसका इतना गुनाह बड़ा नहीं जो आपके अपने नफ्स तक महदूद है जो दूसरों को नुकसान देता है दिस इज़ द बिगेस्ट सो द सेम गोज़ विद यू नो पॉजिटिव थिंग कि अगर वो आपकी सोसाइटी में एक बड़ा इंपैक्ट क्रिएट करता है अगर आपकी सोसाइटी में एक बड़ा यू नो एक चेंज एंड रेवोल्यूशन लेके आता है दैन दिस इज़ द वेरी गुड थिंग सो आई द टाइम ऑफ दिस यू नो जो भी इवेंट्स और ओकेजन जिसमें आपकी थोड़ी सी एफर्ट चेंज हो जाती है टू प्लीज़ अल्लाह and you i know that people some people miss their prayers as well during these events and um, i but i will say you guys many for the hashmi ki ek uh, you know ek uh, video suni thi that was the thing that i was uh, like preparing myself ke acha mujhe ye karna hai main apne already prepare kar rahi thi like usme maine bataya tha ki unka jo damag tha ke people you know in the masjid they were waiting ke acha inka jo damag hai wo unki jo beti ki jab shaadi hui thi to they were waiting eagerly waiting ke acha ye ho sakta hai ke ye fajr ki namaz na padhne ke liye but he came and everyone was like shock ke acha so ye cheeze aati hain aapko jab aap efforts karte hain and i already said this can be work out through your working out your your inner nafs through your good intentions and i will just say that the time of these events and occasions lapsed but your amal stay last do not let this worldly affair affect your relation with allah at any cost i feel like ke ke pak guzar jayega but your you know deeds will stay last so do not do not ever affect your relation with allah at any cost beyond doing parda zuri nahi ke main bas iski baat aapko ke batau to i will also say ke amal ki baat hoti hai usne ikhlaq ki baat hoti hai that should also not be you know Mm, we should not forget our good manners and good conduct with people on this occasions and we but we, we should also not compromise our relation with Allah um may Allah things make easier for us and i uh, may Allah just give us the strong iman on to you know ke hum strive kar sake Allah ke deen mein hum hame ye cheeze choti choti impact na karenge log kya kahenge aur main kaisa lagunga aur mere bare mein log kya sochenge जब आप ये सोच देंगे ना तो दिस इज़ द थिंग जब आपकी ज़िंदगी में एक रेवोल्यूशन क्रिएट होना शुरू हो जाएगा जब आप लोगों से डिफरेंट सोचना शुरू करेंगे जब आप लोगों के बारे में नहीं सोचेंगे कि लोग हमें क्या कह रहे हैं एंड आई विल टेल यू गाइज दैट स्लोली स्लोली जब आप अल्लाह के राह में चलते हैं ना तो थिंग्स स्टार्टिंग में आपको ऐसा लगता है बहुत मुश्किल होगा लेकिन जो मज़ा अल्लाह के दिन पर चलने का वो किसी चीज़ पर चलने का नहीं है वो दुनियावी लज्जत में है ही नहीं तो मैं आपको यही कहूँगी कि जस्ट डूइंग इट फॉर द अल्लाह एंड देन पीपल विल अल्लाह आपको इज्जत दे ही देता है जब आप अल्लाह के नाम में चलते हैं तो अल्लाह आपको इज्जत भी दे ही देता है लेकिन डू नॉट डू दिस फॉर गेटिंग प्रेज प्रेज फ्रॉम पीपल डू नॉट गेट दिस फ्रॉम एप्रिसिएशन फ्रॉम पीपल जस्ट डू इट फॉर द सेक ऑफ अल्लाह बिकॉज यू आर नॉट डूइंग फॉर द सेक ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज पीपल द यू नो कमेंट्स एंड द जजमेंट्स ऑफ पीपल विल सर अल्टीमेटली विल अफेक्ट यू एंड आप उनके अकॉर्डिंगली फिर अपने जो अमल है वो तब्दील कर देंगे तो इसलिए ज़रूरी है कि आप अपना अमल होना चाहिए सो मे अल्लाह कीप अस स्टड पास ऑन हिज दिन एंड हमारे लिए चीज़ें जो सी हैं वो ईजी हो होती नहीं हमें खुद करनी पड़ती हैं ठीक है और जस्ट आई विल से दैट हमारा ईमान इतना मजबूत हो जाए कि हमें ये चीज़ें इफ़ेक्ट ही ना करें सो अलहमदिल्ला अलहमदिल्ला अल्लाह पा का बहुत करम है एंड आई वॉन्ट कि हमारी सोसाइटी इतनी मजबूत हो जाए कि उससे अब ये बहुत लंबा टॉपिक हो जाएगा सो आई एम जस्ट वो एंड दिस वीडियो आई वॉज लाइक थिंकिंग कि मुझे बना थोड़ी सी वीडियो के ऊपर बनाना चाहिए वीडियो एंड this video was not about like boasting of myself but just to impact a little about on you guys so <laughs> may allah keep us steadfast on his deen and allah hafiz 
फिर मिलेंगे किसी और वीडियो के साथ